Hey, it's Matt, and welcome back to Practice Perfect University. Today we'll be continuing our discussion on how to set up Practice Perfect for HKI submissions. More specifically, we'll be discussing how to set up the client profile. Let's get started. Step 1. After inputting all of the relevant information in the AISI HKI Invoice Settings panel, there's still a little bit of work that needs to be done before you can begin submitting invoices. This setup takes place in the client profile. Select one of your HKI patients from either the client screen or the scheduler and enter the client detail view. In the client tab, input their first and last name, their full address, including their postal code, and their phone number. Then click on the demographics tab, input their birth date and gender. Step 2. Next, click on the Incidents tab. Look for the field called Incident Number. Input the document number found on the OCF-18 or OCF-23 form, which can be seen either on the HKI website or in Practice Perfect itself. If the document number is unavailable, type the word exempt in said field. But it's important to note that if you enter exempt in this field, you will be required to attach a note to your submission stating the reason for why it is exempt. Attaching a note to an HKI invoice is a relatively simple process and will be discussed in our OCF 18 and OCF 23 invoice setup videos. Step 3. Afterwards, click on the policy slash claim info tab. Take note of a field called claim number. This is where you need to input the patient's claim number exactly as it appears on the OCF 18 or 23 form. This field is case sensitive. You may include any numbers, spaces, and special characters that were on the original treatment plan. If, however, there is no number on the original treatment plan, this field may be left blank. In addition to the claim number, you must also fill out the policy number and the group number exactly as they appear on the OCF 18 or 23 form. After filling out all of this, you're ready to begin submitting claims to HKI. Check out part three for detailed instructions on how to do so. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in Practice Perfect University at practiceperfectemr.com. Class is dismissed.